What's up, Creek? Coach Abel here, weekly announcements. Uh, coming to you a little bit later than I'd like. Uh, you know, Monday afternoon, we got practice here in a couple hours. So, uh, obviously, if it was anything super important for today, I would have I would let you guys know. Okay. All right. Uh, closing thoughts. First and foremost, great weekend, man. It was it was super great. Uh, everything this past week I thought was awesome. Uh, you know, Wednesday we went out to uh, uh, KCD for some seven on seven, and while we were out there getting some work in, our linemen got to hear from from a, a buddy of mine, Jason Spitz, who who uh, who played in the league there for a while. Um, all good things. Uh, then you fast forward Friday, and you know it was a little bit frustrating with traffic being what it was, but. Uh, our guys go down and compete in the Central Art 7-on-7 in the Big Man Challenge. And, and, you know, I'll tell you guys exactly what I tell our players. 7-on-7 seven seven is fake football. Uh, you're missing a, a key element of the game. Uh, there's you're missing special teams. You're missing offensive and defensive line. You're missing the run game. So the whole idea of 7-on-7 of seven seven is to go down there and compete, get coached, uh, and work on the things you're going you're gonna to use in season. Uh, and we did that. We were very competitive, despite the fact that we didn't actually do anything, you know, specific for seven on seven. Uh, the same thing applies for our big boys. Um, you could tell that there were some teams that were down there that that practiced and rehearsed some of those activities. And that's all fine and dandy. But you know, we're working on real football over here and we're hoping that all that will, will pay dividends and it'll show itself when we play some of these teams here in, in uh, August and September. OK. So a uh, great weekend. Uh, Sunday was a busy day for us as well. We had some parents volunteering at the Loose City game. I know it was hot. Uh, lots of people out there. So for the uh, six people that volunteered, the cars, the lurches, uh, Mrs. Lucky and Mrs. Willingham, we, we a million thank yous for your time uh, on Sunday. And then Sunday evening, I had the uh, senior retreat, the senior get together. Uh, something we obviously didn't do last year, but we were able to kind of, you know, bring it back this year. And uh, I try to do a, a different thing with each class. Uh, this year's class got a little pool party, a little pizza, a little, little cornhole. Uh, and we had a we had a good time. Not all of them could be there for various reasons, but we had a great time uh, Sunday uh, doing that. This week's schedule for the first time all summer, we are normal. We are Monday through Friday, 6 to 840. There's no seven on seven stuff there's no you know random schedule it's all the same for everybody that's that includes the freshmen uh the only little blip uh for this week's schedule is campus beautification day uh pretty much if any freshmen uh that obviously weren't with us in spring any new players that weren't with us in the spring uh and any of the guys that weren't able to make it to our churchill downs those are the guys that i i expect to be there uh, on Saturday, we start at 9 a.m. We'll go till about noon. Um, this is a, a great time for us to get some of those community service hours in. It's a great time for us to, to start uh, making some improvements to the facility uh, and making it kind of sprucing it up and beautifying it before we start, uh, you know, games in August. I will tell you that I am in dire need of some weed eaters. So moms and dads out there, that you got weed eaters or weed whackers, whatever you use, and you're freed up Saturday for a few hours. Uh, come on, we, we could use you, okay? Uh, I will either feed them breakfast or lunch, not both that morning, okay? All right, another reminder about attendance. Attendance is important. Uh, attendance was way better this past week. Most of the guys are communicating with us when they're having attendance issues, but now this is kind of, now I'm directing this definitely to the freshmen. Uh, the more you show, the more you grow, okay? So we need these guys here uh, when we do have practice. Player dues were technically due on the 24th. I know a lot of you guys have communicated that with me if, if you were having any kind of troubles. Uh, some of you guys have not. Here's your reminder. Make sure those player fees are pay, paid up. Uh, they're a lot. Half of their spirit wear is in, which means we've got to go ahead and, and pay that bill. As as player fees come in, the players will get their, their T-shirt and shorts, and then their, uh, their, their track suit or jumpsuit, whatever you want to call it, that will come in uh, closer to the fall. Okay. Uh, Today is the last day for the BSN Team Store, so make sure you guys are getting on, online and, and doing your ordering. Uh, Metro Screen Printing Store, I think, closes this upcoming Sunday, uh, so you've got yourself a little bit of time to uh, to uh, make your orders. We're about 25 orders in the BSN Store, which is pretty good, and I'm not 100% sure where we're at with the Metro Screen Printing Store, but uh, either way, you guys, you guys have your options there. Make sure you guys make them before the end of the year. 
once the stores close, we don't we don't open them back up. So any gear that you're going to get, you'll have to get from, you know, Walmart or Kroger or, or something like that. OK, uh, so make sure you guys take advantage of that while you can. Sports physicals, again, uh, the closer we get to August, the more these physicals will start expiring. We don't want these physicals to lapse. So please make sure those physicals get done. And uh, well, I am going to start holding guys accountable for those auxiliary forms. That's a, that's a digital digital link this year. Uh, and again, it's you can find it on the band app. All right, a couple other notes. Uh, fundraising you uh, mentioned it last week. We have nonprofit tax exempt letters that can be sent out to the donors. Each player should by now know who their donors were, and if not, we can of course you know help them out with that this week. Uh, but those letters are in the uh, the field house right there on the table. They just need to grab whichever ones they 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 want or they need. Uh, to send them to their their sponsors or their supporters. Uh, reminder about JSPS ticket prices being ten dollars this year. Okay, so if you haven't already bought your season pass, do so. Uh, girdles. That's the only thing besides cleats that I require the guys to have. Uh, they we we start full gear next week, and I don't have uh, a lot of girdles to give out. Okay, uh, it's really just not the most sanitary of things. I think everybody should want to have their own girdle. Uh, and this is something that we've been reminding these guys since the spring. So uh, please make sure you guys are out at Dick's Sporting Goods, Academy Sports, Amazon, whatever, uh, to order those girdles. Uh, the last other reminder, which is probably the most important, uh, is the heat. Uh, this is the first official uh, summer week where we're, we're in the 90 degrees, which means we're going to be kind of flirting with the uh, the heat index, uh, you know, issues. Uh, as Miss Nicole will always tell these guys, hydration starts the night before. So you can pound down a, a, a bottle of water right before practice and say that you're hydrated. Hydration is not just water. It's what you're putting in your bodies. Uh, so these guys need to be getting up before, you know, 2 and 3 p.m., uh, you know, and, and getting their up and moving and, and kind of getting themselves acclimated for the day. Okay, if you have any questions any any uh you know need any help with that kind of stuff feel free to let us know uh but again it's going to be hot one. all right um these are the reminders which have been the reminders uh over the last couple of weeks so just make sure that you guys are still adhering to that bringing water making sure we're in the dress code make sure that you've downloaded the band app and you've subscribed to the youtube channel uh, the last little piece that i'll mention here is is you know we have some people that are are uh obviously from within reason uh, concerned about this this Delta variant that we're hearing a bunch from, right? We're going to find out a lot more about what school is going to look like at tomorrow's JCPS board meeting. I will remind you guys and then uh, hopefully give you some peace of mind that we will continue to do whatever it is that we are being told to do from up top. Uh, I will tell you that masks are probably going to be a thing still, right? We all think we all know that, which means that these guys are going to have to make sure they have masks with them at practice. I don't believe that we're going to be asked to wear a mask during practice, but if we're doing a meeting inside, uh, lifting weights, things of that sort, we're probably going to have to be to be masked up. Um, one thing that has been out there, and again, everyone has their opinions on the vaccinations and all that, and by no means are, am I pressuring any of you guys for this, but uh, one thing that has been passed down to me has been you know, the idea that if, if guys are vaccinated, and there is a positive case, those vaccinated guys uh, essentially wouldn't have quarantine. Now, we don't know any of this for sure yet. Nothing has been passed down for us. We'll, we'll find out here sooner than later. But as always, guys, just encourage your sons to do whatever it is that you want them to do to make yourselves feel comfortable. Uh, all of our coaches are vaccinated. Um, whether we wanted to or not, we, we got the shot. Uh, and, and we did so that so we can we can coach your guys, you know, with, with little interruptions. Um if you got questions or concerns about this, please feel free to let me know. No one, no, no individual is going to be ridiculed for wearing a mask whenever he or she wants to wear a mask. Okay, so uh, there you have it. That's all I got, guys. Hope is greater than fear. Here's here, here's hoping for a great, great week.